What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at my 2014 Yamaha Super Jets and I'm going to do a walk around of the trailer and the jet skis and talk about some of the mods and eventually go for a ride. So we have the two jet skis on the Aluma trailer. We have the triangle box in the front for all of the towels and paper towels, sunscreen, and other spare tools and stuff. Then we have the two five gallon gas cans in the fly racing brace the jet trim mat it's held up pretty good over uh, the last six or seven years and the hydro turf mat is held up just as well, uh, except it has created a uh, couple indents in the padding underneath. And we have uh, Belosian handlebars, straight handlebars on both skis. But let's pop pop off the hoods and look at the. Uh, internals diving into the first ski it's pretty stock it's just got the air filters uh, intake grate and ride plate it's got the works ride plate and we did uh, the lettering on the exhaust to uh, make it pop a little bit. Decided to keep one pretty reliable. And then this is the race ski. It's got the factory pipe, ADA head, uh, set for 93 octane, uh, MSD ignition, It's got the same uh, air, air filters. And we have a Shirai lightweight battery. And both have a bilge pump in the bottom. And for my ride plate, I have the Blosion carbon fiber I also have Moto Tassahari uh, intake reeds, carbon fiber. I uh, did notice a little bit of power with those. Um, everything else was a pretty dramatic power with the, the head and the pipe. Those made a huge difference. As well as the uh, M MSD ignition. Here's where we chose to put the bilge pump outlets at. Same on both skis. Mine's round, his is a little bit more angled. Then we both have the Blosion handle pull spring. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the skis. Let's go out and test them out. 